Okay, into the top notch boa's boa room. Oh, let's see here. All right, over here are my adults. On that wall are some homemade racks, along with a boa file rack there. Uh, sweater box bins, I think they are those size. Those there are the ballroom racks. I got a stack of three racks, making 12 total. Got an extra one there on the top. Uh, oil filled heater hooked up to a Ranko thermostat, keeping the uh, ambient temps in here correct. Um, a 20 bend shoebox rack, along with a uh, homemade melamine. I don't know what size those are. They're pretty big tubs. Can hold up to a two-year-old bow or so. Along with the bottom is a uh, my substrate newspaper. So that's basically the setup. <clears throat> Everything's worked very well for me. I find that uh, maintaining an ambient temperature with the oil-filled heater hooked up to a Renko. And yeah, Renko is just uh, these guys right here. It's an on-off thermostat. These are both controlling the heat on uh, both of these stacks. There and there. Uh, I keep it set to about 93. Keeps them at about a 90 degree hot spot. Right now I got the ambience in here right around 82. Uh, so it gives them a good range. As I go more and more to the winter months I will turn the ambience further down. So that's the setup. Uh, I guess I'll move on to showing you a few animals. Let's see, what should I start with? I'll start with the adults. Adults are always fun. Who's first? This is a albino female. 2003, got her from Pete Cole. She's produced twice for me, twice in a year, uh, two years in a row rather. Um, she'll get the next year off. This last litter took a lot out of her. Uh, that is a male 2004 Sun Glow. I just want to show you him real quick. I love him. For an adult Sun Glow to have this much contrast is incredible to me. So that's him. He's killer. He's a nice guy too. Usually pretty well behaved. Hey, didn't even bite my hand there. Good job. Now he's a 2004. I got him from Frank Martin. Apparently Frank produced quite a number of sunglows that year. And uh, this was the best one. So he's been a great breeder for me. Produced uh, three litters now. Last year he bred two females. Uh, this is one of the females he bred. Can't see her very well because she's on a shelf. You can see my fat belly in the reflection. Uh, Arabesque Het Albino. Got her from Pete Call as well. She's a uh, 2000, 2002 girl. Over here is Ivana. A 1999 normal female that I got from Gray Russian. <clears throat> Gray has some amazing normals and anytime he puts one up for sale you should probably snatch it up. This is an adult coral sun glow. Can't really seem to get a good angle on her. She's hiding behind her water. Uh, she's nice. She's yet to produce for me like to get her going with a motley head albino this year. That's not her name, that's her name up there. But I switched them around. Down here is my EBV, red group female. Also got her from Gray. She used to be an incredible, incredible normal. Until she had her first litter of babies, she just went real dark. Which, uh, I guess some females just do that. Not much you can do about it. Uh, so that's her. She's very nice. She's uh, my tamest adult boa. I like to pull her out to show people 
how nice these animals can be. Not always, though. <clears throat> uh, let's see. On to the males. Here's a Motley. That albino possible head stripe, 2005 version. Very nice animal. Got plenty of size to him now. Has yet to breed for me. Haven't really seen much breeding action out of him yet. Hopefully soon though. Hopefully this season. Um, this next one was my very first uh, mutation boa I got. A uh, uh, Rich Eiley produced 2003 salmon hypo male. Proved out to be a super salmon. He's a little dark. He's darkened up in his his old age, but uh, throw some smoking hot orange babies. I've produced uh, once with him, but he's a breeding machine. I, I've uh, put him on multiple females, and he just gets going and doesn't stop. He's a very nice, uh, well-behaved animal. Got a fast feeding response, though, so I have to watch it. Come on, buddy. I've learned not to tap my... Use my finger to tap their nose anymore when they're doing that. Go back in. That Motley I just showed you once bit me. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, there's an albino and a jungle male there. Nothing... Nothing special. This guy's faded out quite a bit in his old age. Produced once for me. It's funny, the albinos he produced were just smoking, but I think most of the genetics were in the, uh, the female. And a jungle male. Also, has yet to produce for me. Beautiful jungle, though. Yes, no pattern to Baron C's, but he's got that classic jungle look. He's a 2004. Oh, so those are my adult males. Um, I guess I can go over the 07 animals. 07 was my first year producing. I had a had a good year that year. And I kept a few, not as many as I should have. This is an um, albino. Very pretty girl. Got some excellent contrast to her. Can't really, depends on which angle I'm coming at here, as to which white balance the camera's using, but she is golden yellow. I don't think it looks that way in the video here because of the uh, lighting coming in from outside. She's golden. She's got some killer, killer saddle contrast. Should be plugging her into some jungle projects. Um, here's a Sun Glow 07. Where's she at? Whoop, spilled her water all over. A little humidity won't hurt her. <clears throat> She's a little bit feisty, so I won't just reach in to pick her up. I don't think the lighting's very good right here uh, to show you her very well, but she's kept excellent contrast. She's getting that golden. Yellow and I love her tail. She just has a very prominent striking tail. I expect her to be a uh, very contrasty golden big sun glow adult. <clears throat> uh, let's see. A couple EBV salmon holdbacks. This girl, I love this girl. The clean, nice hypo. Very robust and strong too. Very nice too. She's just a uh, very well behaved girl. My very first litter. And uh, here's a sister to her. More richly colored. More body color in this one. Um, but I think the other one has a better overall look. <clears throat> this was my original pick of the litter of that, this, the EBV salmon litter. She also needs her cage cleaned. Um, she just, she has a lot of speckling. She's feisty. I'm not, I kind of be careful with her. Um, but her saddles are a 
rich rich red she has a very rich red tail a lot of body color I, I still consider her the pick of the litter with uh, the one above her in a very close second also very robust and strong big strong girl uh, let's see this guy's tub does not slide well at all so I will set the camera down for just a moment I'll pull this up open Bear with me here. Okay. Got his top open. He also is a bit feisty. But he is just an incredible, incredible normal male. The um, He is a brother to the original albino I showed you. That is just a golden, golden yellow. And you can see where the bloodline pulls it from. And, the, and the, even in the hats. I mean, he's just... Got a lot of yellow to him, uh, very tan. Gonna be a great looking adult, I bet. <clears throat> Set the camera down for just a moment again. I have some duct tape in the back that is catching the tub as I close it. Um, let's see, I got a few other 07s I'll show you real quick. Barranquilla Colombian, she's gotten a little bit feisty. Uh, hard for me to get a good angle here. Gus Renfro produced her. Nice line of Barranquilla Colombians. Plan on uh, putting her into Hypo and other Colombian projects. There's another EBV. Hold back female. I held back quite a few. She's nice. She's a little smaller than the other two, less robust, still very strong, just not growing as fast. One of my favorites. There's a male from that. Same litter. Kept quite a few. It was my first litter, so it's pretty special to me. Very nice male. I'll put him with the Barranquilla, probably. First year she's ready. This is the sun glow. I had trouble getting to feed for a long time. It's a beautiful sun glow. She's just growing very slowly. Um, and not very robust. So I'll keep her and keep raising her up and see what happens with her. Now, and then there's. Uh, I guess we're on to the 08s now. That's all my 07s. Didn't keep a whole lot last year, like I said. Um, Okay, first is the arabesque litter I had earlier in the year, uh, April this year. So, this is an arabesque sunglo male. Great coloration. Awesome contrast. Very robust animal too. The arabesque female that produces, that produced these, um, is, uh, seems to produce very, very robust animals. She's very robust too, so... And here's a female. She's got a, a different color scheme. Tons and tons of body color. Not sure if you can see it. Soft, soft look to her. I actually um, am trading her today, I believe. Going to meet a guy in Tampa, Larry Petty of Sunshine State Exotics. Got some jungle animals coming in for her. Not happy about getting rid of the pick of the litter. But hopefully I can make more. Uh, <clears throat> an arabesque albino from that same litter. I could take it over to the sunlight. Ah, it doesn't really. Looks a little overexposed. Kind of washes out the color when you go to the sunlight. Um, Let's see. Sunglow female. She's in deep shed right now. She's a hold back. I just wanted to keep a lot of females this year. Building up a collection of females. An arabesque hypo. Let's see here. You come here. Nice. Nice arabesque. Hypo. Doesn't have a perfect arabesque pattern, but great color. You got the head markings on her. 
great color. I bet she'll be a beautiful adult. So, she's another hold back. I have one other arabesque hypo from that same litter that I cannot get to eat. Still is hanging on. And, um, has a perfect pattern. Okay. See, so this is a hypo head. Just a hypo head albino male from that, that same litter. Very light. I was going to keep them, but I think I'm going to sell them. <clears throat> Sun glow male from that litter. All the sun glows in that litter came out incredible. There were only three, but each one of them were insanely contrasty. Another hypo hat from that litter. Has a nice, nice little elongated tail stripe. I don't know if that means he's a head for stripe or what. Looks like this one spilled its water. It seems to do that pretty often. This was, I would say, the pick, pick albino, I mean, uh, pick sunglow of the litter. I didn't keep either one of the males; kept a female. But he is, uh, he has some incredible contrast. <clears throat> this is an albino from that same litter. I am keeping this one. There are two albinos in the litter. The other one I sold. This one I kept because of its body color. It just uh, has a lot of color in its head. Um, a lot of body color overall. And the other one uh, had probably better contrast, if you can believe it or not, um, but did not have any body color. So, I kept this guy. Uh, that's most of that litter. I just didn't show you like the head albino and stuff like that. Other litter I have is a sunglow litter that was just born. This is a sunglow male. From that. This is a, uh, the same father, different mother. Very nice sunglow male. I think he might be the pick of that litter. It's very, very close between a male and a female. Um, second male. This is also a nice one. Fiance is coming to the door. Okay, <clears throat> ran away. Uh, a sunglow female here. These are all from the uh, sunglow litter. Nice body color on her. She's got a solid, solid um, contrast in her saddles with a killer tail. Uh, also packs a punch with a lot of body color. I usually kind of get one or the other. I get ones with a lot of body color, no saddle contrast, or a lot of saddle count contrast and no body color, but she's got a little bit of both. This is another sunglow female. This was, I think, the lesser of all of them. I mispicked her as an albino even to start, but it's very clear that she's a sunglow. She's a little more orange based. Um, it may be difficult to tell the differences between these animals for you guys because you're seeing different lighting scenarios as I set them down in a slightly different spot. But she has a lot of body color and she has very thick blocky saddles um, which make up for her lack of contrast I think in a way at least. <clears throat> okay here are my two ones I'm keeping. A sunglow female first and foremost. This girl has a white white undertone with red base saddles uh, totally different look than anyone I've produced so far very very white very red base saddles I like her a lot 
Well, I haven't got any of these feeding yet. I've only tried once. I need to try again with some, uh, well, I just need to try again with some frozen thawed. And I'm not gonna resort to live quite yet. Maybe after one or two more attempts. Here's the other female. This is probably my favorite of the litter. Um, she has just a ton, ton of saddle contrast. A little bit of striping in the tail. Um, excellent, excellent head markings. I mean, look at the saddle contrast. <clears throat> okay. Um, then it basically just moves to albinos for that litter. I'll, I'll spare you those. There. I'll show you one or two, I guess. There's a couple over here. Um, The male. I don't. I haven't really pinpointed which are the nicer ones, so I'm just pulling random. This is the only one that hasn't shed yet. I think it may be one of the nicer ones. Hasn't shed. Still looks very contrasty and nice. And let's see. This is the only one out of all of them that ate on the first try. I've only tried once again. I've only tried that one time, so I'm not thinking too much of it yet. It's a female. Pretty nice. Anyway, I thought I would share my collection with everybody on the internet and my setup. I hope some of you found it interesting. Um, I guess that's it. Take care, everybody.